a couple of years ago, I'm not a big fan of uh, the neutral sites for game day because often, often that leaves us with lackluster enthusiasm because you know, there is, there's not a natural gathering place that early before the game. In Charlotte, uh, in what would that have been, 21, yep. Clemson and Georgia opened the season there, and they turned that notion completely upside down. Fantastic crowd, electric atmosphere. People, now part of it, they were coming off COVID, the restrictions were gone, all of that kind of stuff. So everybody was happy to, you know, um, be, be doing normal things. And, but it was also, you had Georgia and Clemson. Here's the challenge. Let's see what North Carolina and South Carolina have to do to answer that, especially South Carolina, which, you know, prides itself on having a loyal, big, vociferous fan base. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got in Charlotte. Yeah. I'm not worried about South Carolina. South Carolina fans are going to show. Like, they if drag I need their tails. to them up a little bit, that's, uh, that's okay, well, though. Uh, they they drag their tails to watch bad ball for a lot of years there in Columbia. So now that they have Shane Beamer, things aligned, things going right, um, those schools aren't exactly uh, the best of friends. So I I do feel like uh, the Gamecock crew will show up. The challenge to me is the North Carolina fan. Baby base. blue, yeah. I feel no like doubt. I feel like they'd much rather have brunch with like one of those Bloody Marys that has like a shrimp bacon and probably grits on it. Right. Like I just feel like that's more Carolina. Like that, that I don't, I don't know if their fan base really wants to let it rip uh, for, for three hours. So uh, this is my prediction. I predict 75% South Carolina fans there and I predict it rocks. Okay. I hope you're right. Uh, the last time, North Carolina fans were challenged. A little different atmosphere, for sure. But when they were having a difficult time in basketball last year, there was some concern about how they would show up for the morning college game day show hours before the game against Duke in basketball. And I'm going to give them credit, man. They showed up. They were excited. They were loud. I tend to agree with you with the overall perspective of maybe the uh, preferences of North Carolina fans to maybe uh, chill and be a bit more refined, but they showed up for for the basketball game and uh, for the show before the basketball game several hours before, under very dire circumstances for their team. They ought to have a lot of excitement about this team. They've got um, maybe the maybe the best quarterback they've ever had. Not probably not even maybe the best quarterback they've ever had. Certainly in modern era. And they've got an opportunity in the ACC to make a big run with a, with you know, Hall of Fame level coach who would love to win another one at a place that's important to him. And here's the start of it. So let's get let's get jacked up and and see what you got. 